Welcome to this channel. This channel is for education and culture based on historical and scientific evidence. Today, I'd like to share with you a critical issue in Wing Chun and traditional Chinese martial arts. For those friends who really serious in practicing Chinese Kung Fu, Wing Chun, or love the art, we have reached the point that we hit the wall. The entire thing, the entire education system for past 30 years of traditional Chinese Kung Fu or Wing Chun never works. And in fact, it doesn't work. So today i like to share with you the solutions we better look at this thing seriously and carefully. Or else it is a disaster. So why am I choose today to share with you? Well, it is because uh, in the group, the Facebook group, the other day, a friend posted this. Okay, so it is in the Q Wing Chun group in Facebook. A friend posted this. So this is the video of our Open the France, the Wing Chun 2020. This video now on sparring and so forth, so forth, or uh, competition and so forth. The, uh, so this friends, post this in the group and say, hello everyone, I come across this video. I do not see any Wing Chun from a technical perspective. The sticking body short strike uniqueness is not there. They are mostly just fighting for from the long range, not even the close range with improper kickboxing momentum and occasional takedown. So a friend posts this in the uh, group with his view. Okay, so you can go to this uh, YouTube to check for this uh, YouTube. Uh, this I think is a competition uh, because I don't know French. Uh, so uh, you can check it out and see what it is. Now, after this being post out, Then uh, somebody replies, say, at least they spar. Then this friend say, sparring without proper training and foundation is just schoolyard brawling. It doesn't contribute to anything for Wing Chun. And then this friend say, I beg to different. Only under pressure you could test skill. And uh, again, this is a reply with, all due respect, kindly read my previous comment before differing. One cannot spar and test a skill if the skill is not initially built on proper system that develop proper fighting skill based on the uniqueness of martial arts. Uh, in, this, in that case, sticking body short strike. In all cases, the conversation is becoming off topic since my initial purpose is to discuss the technical of what is showing in the footage and not the topic of sparring. So I went and I post to uh, the friend and said, well, please define the following term clearly. What is sparring? What is under pressure you could test skill? So the reply is sparring is the only way to train timing and initiative under pressure means attacking someone who retaliate, intercept, and evade your attacks. And uh, here I uh, reply, say, technically, your definition is abstract and doesn't present anything solid. Well, 
Due to this, I am making this video today. Hopefully, some Wing Chun friends out there or Chinese Kung Fu friends out there be able to see this video. Doesn't matter today or 50 years later. So that uh, one know what is going on here. Okay, now. Like this, uh, sparring or uh, test under pressure, only under pressure you could test your skill. All this thing is messed up and uh, all this, you know. So let me get it clear for you, okay? Going through all this, it's like uh, watching a movie, 30 days of night, when the vampire told the lady, God, no God. So I can uh, make, a, make a, a resemblance, say, 30 years of night, instead of 30 days of night, 30 years of night. Wing Chun, no Wing Chun. Kung Fu, no Kung Fu. This is how serious it is. It become a disaster today. A time wasting. So, I always like to talk about General Chi Chi Guang. And um, mostly people will never... Uh, listen to me, never comprehend when I say what is Chi Chi Guang is about. Because if friends, after watching my videos for, 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 for so much time and in the group and still using this uh, test under pressure, sparring stuff, uh, abstract, that means they don't understand what I'm talking about. So I make it clear for you, easy for you to understand. What is Chinese martial art under General Chi Ji Guang? Okay. So this is what it is. Just look at this. General Chi Ji Guang. And this is General Chi Ji Guang like Darth Vader. And this is all his, uh, his army. Like the clone of the Darth Vader's. That's how it is. It is war machine. You read his story, General Chi Ji Guang's army is war machine. It is not Mui fighting, Ti Sim, Ti Sim fighting, Mui, all the Shaolin. Those are just Hong Kong movies. And in fact, those people who make those movies have no clue of even what's going on in Chinese history. So just put in our picture, our mind. When you think about Chinese Kung Fu and Chi Ji Guang, General Chi Ji Guang, you think about Darth Vader and his clone. It is a war machine. It is not those uh, sloppy Jedi who only bullshit on uh, may the force be with you. Okay? It is like this. For past 30 years, for sure, and you can drive up to past 60 years or past uh, 100 years. What is Chinese Kung Fu? What is Wing Chun? Well, it becomes like this. Kiza, Kiza, Kiza. That's why in 1969, Bruce Lee said it is what? Land swimming. So Chinese Kung Fu is land swimming, including Wing Chun. The Wing Chun he practiced is land swimming. That's why he do Jae Kune Do. Because the screw up is too deep. If you have 100 years of people is uh, Kiza, 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 there's no way you can help them. And uh, that is what? 1969 until today is 50 years ago already. And past 30 years, when all this movie booms, it has become that uh, that uh, 
that horror movie, 30 Days of Night. It's a very good movie, okay? So the reality or the vampire will ask you, God, no God. Wing Chun, no Wing Chun there. So how to solve this? What do we need to know to solve this, to get it proper? Well, number one thing, to get things proper, for sure, many will not like it because they waste too much in their money, their title, and all this nonsense. So even you look at Uncle Bruce Lee, is, he just give up. He doesn't want to straighten the entire thing up because it's hopeless. That's why after 1969, he's no longer practiced Wing Chun. He's practiced Jet Kune Do. Read his letter. Now, the entire thing is really simple. It is extremely simple if people listen. If people listen, people comprehend, it is extremely, extremely simple stuff. I have already repeated a few times and now today I want to make it serious and so that everybody understand what is going on. Now it is as simple as this. All martial arts in the uh, Chinese, ancient Chinese, the real martial art, all have two levels of training. The first level, the bottom level, is the uniqueness of the uh, arts and the body conditioning. You need the body conditioning to support the uniqueness of the art. So once one got this, so uniqueness of the arts, I defined it here. You look at a BJJ guy, our friend, they don't fight like a, a, a Western boxing. A Western boxing friend is not going to fight like a BJJ. And the BJJ will train rolling to condition their body for what they're good at. Same with a Western boxer friend is going to condition their body to support the Western boxing, which is very different than the BJJ. It, it is that simple. Now, on top of this level of training, there's another level of training, which is a tactical level, where you fight in different ranges, different angle, different distance, and different level. Over here, everything goes. And the name of the game, if you are a Western boxer, then you want to uh, take advantage of your uniqueness in this play to defeat the opponent. If you are a BJJ friend, you want to take advantage of what you train, what you, you're good at, specialize in to take down the opponent. So this is a tactical level. Okay? So this is the second level. Now, when one talk about sparring in the real martial arts, one talk about the sparring here. You have uh, baiting people, you have uh, combinations, you have feint, you have uh, you trap him, and all sort of stuff. It is a momentum play. Okay? That is where sparring is. It is beyond Something saying that uh, sparring is the only way to train timing and initiative. Or under pressure meaning attacking someone who retaliate, intercept, and evade your attacks. 
It is beyond us. Real mashat is beyond us. So where where is this this uh, this come from? Well, it's very obvious that people who use this kind of definitions, not just friends, but you can see around the world, this become a very abstract, uh, sparring and uh, test under pressure become an extract that many people use an alibi or to challenge anybody. But when you when when they they, they pull that two terms out, you know that they have no idea what the heck's going on. They only talk as, uh, abstract. Now, so where is this so-called sparring only way, only way to train timing and initiate the uh, thief or uh, attacking someone who retaliate, intercept, and evade your attack come? Well, it is some Sifu who have no clue on what is the, the real fighting in Chinese Kung Fu. Okay, not only just Wing Chun, the same with the, all the Chinese Kung Fu. Guess what? They are over here doing similar to what uh, in karate, okay, or other martial art on the one step sparring, two step sparring, or three step sparring over here. Let's try to learn their uniqueness. The, the two step sparring, uh, three step sparring, one step sparring, that is just to learn the very basic. Okay, so they took that learning the one step sparring, two step sparring, three step sparring, where the opponent is uh, comply with you and you do the techniques as reality. And that is where this uh, uh, sparring is only way to train timing and initiative come from. And also where the under pressure means attacking someone who retaliate, intercept, and evade your attack come from. What the, those real guy who real fight, who, who really, really fight, who is trained in this level, like in the UFC and MMA ring, or Thai boxing ring, or Kyokshin ring, they don't think this way. Pressure, what pressure? It is a game. If you have no fun over here, how the hell are you going to play any game here? If you don't spar with all the tactical and uh, you baiting your combination, what is the point? So Chinese Kung Fu and Wing Chun stuck at this one-step sparring, two-step sparring, or three-step sparring stuff like in the karate, they never really go into the free sparring. They never. So when they go to free, free sparring, because they're keeping training here, when they go to the free sparring, guess what? They just hit randomly or, 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 or uh, strike like a, a Western boxer or strike like a Sanda player and everything. That is why all this thing coming in. That's why all this kind of thing coming in. Because they never in the tactical stuff. They never in the tactical train the tactical level. They don't know their uniqueness. Okay? And they thought that how many times you heard that people say, Oh, training is training, all fighting the same. Well, don't tell me that. You look at our BJJ, uh, our BJJ friend. Is that all training, all, all fighting the same? You look at all uh, our uh, Western boxing friends or Thai boxing friends. Is that all fighting is the same? You train different? It's bullshit. Okay. So it is from the people who have no clue on what is martial arts, no clue on what is general Chi Ji Guang, but keeping singing the Kiza, Kiza, Kiza song for past 100 years and past 30 years, even the uh, Xi Xiao Dong blow the whistle, still people continue to sing that song. And in the West, many people take that as real. 
So disregard of how many videos I make here, people still, they watching my video, they thinking they are Kiza, Kiza, Kiza. Okay? And then they have this Dao and all this kind of stuff. So the bottom line is, if we do not get this thing straight, this two level of training, the uniqueness, the body conditioning, the uniqueness, and the tactical level, and you spar here. Your chi sao is in this level. Your chi sao never is in this level. Your wooden dummy is in this level. Your lunar dummy is not in this level. If you never go here, it is predictable when you go to fight, you just fight like what? Like a street guy. So when you face people like Si Xiao Tong, you get KO. Why? Because martial is very specific. Train to take down, very specific. Train to jab is very specific. And you don't have those type of uh, 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 training, uniqueness. So Wing Chun uniqueness is sticking body short strike. Get close. It's like the standing BJJ. Well, when you don't have that in something like this, well, you really don't have anything. You, 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 you train something. Say you train your sets. You train your, uh, your, your, your chi sao. You train your wooden dummy. What is it? The first second you say, well, we, we see stuff, but the second, the second instance is like a, everything is a mess. So the, 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 the chi sao, the wooden dummy, the, the set training is all what? It's just show business. It, it contribute to nothing. Well, if you look at like the Thai boxer, BJJ friend, or a Western boxer, whatever they train here, their uniqueness, whatever the condition here is applying here. Now Wing Chuners is trained something here where it never be able to apply here. And then, talking this way, test under pressure, uh, sparring, where they don't even know what it is. So again, until we get this two level of education cast in stone, you have no way out. Well, don't tell me this grandmaster, that grandmaster. This is called science. This is called education. Grandmaster, this regard of who? What name? It's not going to replace the, the gravity of the world, the, 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 the earth, okay? You, you don't say, by the name of this grandmaster, I can float in the air. And you see that all the, the, the real martial art today, like MMA, it's all realistic. There is no such thing as pulling grandmaster name or this and that or chi. So I hope that this is clear. And one thing I want to make sure everybody is clear here is this. This is about body conditioning. Body conditioning, okay? If one don't have this body conditioning, forget about the fighting, the second level, the tactical level. If one do not have this training, it is just a disaster. You cannot train the slow, chi, tai chi like, and then you're going to fight here. A good classical case is like uh, when Lei Lei fighting the uh, Xi Xiao Dong. Well, Lei Lei can do all his chi chi stuff, but it get KO within minutes by Xi Xiao Dong. Why? Well, let me share with you this. If you're training in this type of zone, Aerobic and fat burning, like playing your set, your wooden dummy, your chi sao in this type of zone. 
you are not going to be able to find anybody who train in this anaerobic extreme and uh, the, the, the high intensity zone. So for example, you see that this heart rate, suddenly a burst of heart rate, this is what? This is high speed explosive thing. And if you are just training in this kind of stuff, soft, internal, chi, no way you'll be able to face those accelerations or this type of endurance or stress. No way. Not to mention, people go extreme. You see, this is 100% of heart rate, 169. It go beyond it. This is uh, for, the, for the testing. If you want to go fight, you better have this type of testing. You look at this. This is staying uh, 8.24 minutes in the anaerobic, anaerobic zone. This is saying six, staying 6.41 seconds, 6 minutes and 41 seconds in the extreme zone. This is our training. Anaerobic, zero. Extreme, zero. How the hell is this kind of thing, uh, this kind of body condition can give you the body to fight? It's like uh, you're pedaling a bicycle and thinking that, oh yeah, I'm going to compete with the, those who, uh, who, who drive a Ferrari. Even this type of training, anaerobic 12 minutes and extreme one minutes will not be able to fight this. Look at the six minute, 41 seconds in the extreme and exceed the maximum heart rate. This one is not even there. See, this is a 165 here. This is over exit 169. Do you have the body to do the job, the ending to do the job? So when, when I always say, years ago when I say, oh, this is the snake engine, People will say, well, I know this is a snake engine like this. It's like snake, chi, stuff. You know what I mean by snake engine? I mean snake engine be able to do this. Be able to do this. As soon as I want explosive, I go. Okay, not in here and like Tai Chi, like internal, like all this nonsense. This is the reality. You want to play the fighting games, you better know what the heck you get into. Okay, so in the reality, Uncle Bruce Lee 50, uh, 50 years ago already said this is a da, da, uh, dry land swimming because you don't have body conditioning. You just believe in some kinds of uh, abstract words and you don't even know what is going on. That's why it's called land swimming. So Uncle Bruce Lee passed away. After passed away, about 20 years because of this movie, Wing Chun, boom. This because of using Uncle Bruce Lee's name. Say, well, Uncle Bruce Lee's practice Wing Chun. And you have 30 years of night here, like that movie, 30 nights of night, when the, 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 the vampire asks God, look around, no God. Now it's the same time of of saying that after 30 years, Wing Chun, you look around, there's no Wing Chun. In fact, you don't even have traditional Chinese martial arts. So that's how bad it is. So you want to uh, go uh, uh, facing the MMA, the Thai boxer, our BJJ friend, the Western boxing friend. Well, of course you're going to lose. Why? Because if one couldn't even figure out what is the difference between one step sparring, two step sparring, three step sparring with the free sparring? One don't even know what is the difference. Now it is a disaster. Okay. Not to mention one do not have those body conditioning I just shared with you on this heart rate stuff. Can you do it? Can you walk your talk? Well, it is very different when people sometimes argue, oh, I'm better than you and all this talk quarrel put down people. In the ring, in the real life, your heart rate tracking, as what I just shared with you, that is telling the truth. Okay? 
with or without that training, we know. Just scientifically, you scan that thing, you know whether you have that training or not. Now, if you don't have all this, the three uh, two level of a uh, system, you're living in the fantasy. What well, they call fantasy. That is not martial arts. So today I like to share this with you. The bottom line is, I just hope that this video get to those uh, who want to study Chinese Kung Fu or Wing Chun. Make sure you know what you get into. And also this video get to uh, those who really care for Wing Chun saying that, hey, enough is enough. You need to straighten out the act. We got an educational crisis here. It is not about who's the grandmaster. It is about that is an education crisis. There is no education, no proper education. That's why people have no idea what is going on and keeping using the term uh, test under pressure, sparring, yet have no idea what it is. Because why? They never been there. They never trained for that. 